Croydon in South London. Croydon, Pearly Way, Fort Anif, South Croydon, North Croydon. So when you go Croydon, just make sure you get your passport, boy. <laughs> Because <laughs> Croydon is far. And so what? And so what? Eh? Croydon is far. Even when you live in Croydon, places are far, you know. I know there's some, some, some real hardcore Crodo. Cray. Croydonians. One more clap. This is actually known as a raised ground floor flat because you have to go up some stairs to the front. Whoa, whoa, what is going on here? What in the Marmite tiles are these? Ugh, they are disgusting, bruv. Nah, 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 nah. That is horrible. Ugh, look at that. That is 1970s decor at its finest. Just looking like you've entered the... You know Bourbon Biscuits? Yeah, had a headquarters. These would be their towels, you know. Ugh, disgusting. I've seen this. Look at that for a lively entrance hall. Mm, I've seen it, I've seen brown. it, Dion. This looks right. like a trap house, boy. This looks like a bando, bruv. Look, look at, look at my man here. <laughs> He's like, yo. <laughs> as soon as you come in and you've got a piece of, very thin piece of MDF mm -hmm. on the floor, ply. What's it covering? What are you deal? hiding underneath here? It does worry me when people put things like that on the floor. That's where they hide the drugs. Ladies and gentlemen. That's where they hide the drugs. We got him. <laughs> Do not use. And it looks like police tape as well, innit? It, nah. Why the floorboards moving? Dead bodies under there, bruv. You might know about me and dead bodies in floorboards, you know? Trust me, bruv. There's dead bodies in some of your floorboards, you know? How? How you, I'm saying, how, like, the, talk to me, bro. You the police? Like an old Roman soldier or something like that. What? <laughs> 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 you want me I just clocked. That don't make sense. See, this is how you know it's a bando. You look and see the helmet, innit? Trust me. No idea. Bathroom is just there. In not bad condition. Possibly, if you're rented, could salvage that. Bit of elbow yeah. grease, clean it up. The place got sold and they've just got the sign in the house. Wait a second. There's a washing machine in the... Is, is that even a cupboard? Nah, I don't know about this one bed, you know. This is going to be some transformation. There is a washing machine just hiding in the cupboard. You look and see this, yeah? Mad. Just a little bit tired. Needs a bit of work in here. Needs new floor for sure. And what I do know is this flat comes with a bit of back garden. Okay. Not that. What? It's the bit beyond. It's oh, bit come on, overgrown. man. Is it Jumanji, bruv? Come on, man. Nah, man. Imagine waking up and you see Jumanji every day. Do you know what already? I see I'm itching already. Already. Summertime. You know when it's mad hot and you want to open up your windows? Bear. You know, mosquitoes. Green flies. You're getting them, them crickets. In there, you can't even put the light on. Oh man, this is stressing me out. This one's stressing me out, this flat. All the trees, there's no access from the back of the property. The access is out the front, down the side of the building and in that way. Oh, not come on, who is using a garden like that? Nah, man, that's not it. <laughs> it's not it. You just want to go into your garden. You got to go downstairs through the front and round the back. Nah, 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 nah. But you do have outside space. Do the bedroom part of the flat then and... People just again, left nice their stuff. Scenes, but nothing's been done in here for a long time. Mm -hmm. Stuff's been left by people. The DVDs. I'm not too sure, but it all needs to be cleared out. Yeah, that's all Find that out way, what man. you're working with. And I think Clutter. you'd be okay. The flat itself is small, but it is a one-bed flat. It yeah. is what it is. I hear that. But are you lot not seeing the, the window above Dion's head? That's not even a window. That's that's not even meant to be part. Oh, this is stressing me out. This one is stressing me out. The bando is stressing me out because that should be a wall. You see it above his head? Someone's made a window there. <laughs> oh man. But what about hundreds of new flats? What kind of new flats? This guy's estate agent. He looks like he owns Croydon. Oh, shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Shut up, my nigga. Shut up. I expect this property to achieve between nine hundred and one thousand pounds per calendar month. For okay. sale with an extended lease, I would expect this property to achieve £250,000. Wow! Wow, for a flat. 
That's all right, you know. It's a good little investment. Who's buying this? Who's buying the bando in Creighton? You tell me, where do you want to be? It's cheap, it's here to go. Yeah? How much? <laughs> this guy's acting like a teacher. <laughs> no. Imagine you're buying a property and the man's in the orchard. Like, Excuse me, talking, are we? Are we talking? Okay, well, very well. We'll all have a chat. No, no, no. We'll all have a chat. <laughs> one fourteen. We've got one fourteen. There's no vibe, man. You. Tristan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, you've got a flat to be getting on with. Yeah. <laughs> Who found it? I actually found it. Okay. Uh, sort of after a few months of trawling through different properties. Yes. Is this a partnership or? No, there's there's fourteen of us in uh, oh. the. Um, in the company, um, I'm a director. Tristan's one of our building surveyors. So oh, a bit... nah, man. Tristan just going out to this, what, fine man properties? Nah, man. That's why he's looking at my man like that. Why you got to say that? Like, you know what? You know that when you're with your regions, like, and the man just wants to embarrass you, like, he's <laughs> like, yeah, no, 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 I bought the table. This guy's just drinking the juice. You're like, bro, I like that, man. Why you got to show off in front of, <laughs> in front of the, the people there? You know the ones there? Oh, man. 14 people in this group though. It's a mad, this is a, this started from a WhatsApp group chat, 100%. Background there, but this is the first time we've done it with our own money, so uh, okay. it, it ups the stakes a bit for us. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Now it's yours, then it's, it's your money. You start thinking differently, don't you? You do, yeah, yeah, the pressure's on. <laughs> He's like, you do, <laughs> it's a shit out. <laughs> Depends on this. Why is my man looking at him like that? My man's like, brother, I bought the flat, they asked me at the auction, would you like to be on Homes Under the Hammer? Why are you talking bare? <laughs> you know, that's what he's thinking. You're talking bare, fam. They asked me, do I want to be on Homes Under the Hammer? I said yes, and you're doing bare talking. Loud at, bro. Stop showing off. <laughs> you know the man that doesn't want to show off? Okay, fantastic. If you guys can just look out the window. There we go, look at Jumanji. <laughs> he did when we start taking down walls. So um, so we're gonna try and keep the physical. Nah, uh, you're not seeing my man Tristan. He's like, now. come on, bruv. Chris, Tristan's like, give me some words, man. Come on, you're doing all this talking, man. Let me have some words. All I'm saying is what, we're getting a, we're getting a bath and a shower in. Let me, let, let, <laughs> big man, you're doing too much. <laughs> I know that's what Tristan's saying, you know, big man. You're doing a lot right now, isn't it? Um, there did actually used to be a rear door with access into it. So we're going to try and reinstate that. Hopefully the lintel will still be in place. Um, but we'll have to see once we... Look at the other Donny. Donny's like, all right, you can wrap this up now, Tristan. <laughs> it's time to get my limelight back. Here we go. Of course, they will need the freeholder's permission. On that note, they have already opened the subject of extending that short lease. Okay. I'm all nodding like I know what they're talking about. Slightly don't know what they're talking about, you know? If we can view this as we do the work, we, we get it remortgaged to get the value out. Look, again, bruv. Brother, you're taking all the limelight, bruv. <laughs> Relax, what? Man can't get a slice of the limelight, bruv. But saying that, it might be his peas, isn't it? So, boy, if, if it's your money, you're buying the table, you got to say, brother, I ain't buying the table. So don't tell me what mixes we're getting. <laughs> Because I ain't buying the table. <laughs> That's what's basically going on here, you know? It's like, yeah, you did buy the table, but it's my... I got you in the club, innit? <laughs> my friend works at the door. <laughs> Pleasure. All right. So this is Mike, Tristan, and the company's first project. Everyone has basically... Team. Everyone's putting on the table... And they're like, man want to rave. Man want to rave, bruv. The sparklers, the sparklings. Will they achieve all that? You can find out later in the program. We're back in Croydon. As soon as you come in and- Remember this, this house was mad. Very thin piece of MDF mm -hmm. on the floor, ply. What's it covering? What are you hiding underneath here? It does worry me when people put things like that on the floor. It's so bodies under the basement, fam. What's happened? What's happened? What's happened? Woo! That's nice. Okay. Got a real, got a real gospel music going on right now, boy. You knew they was gonna do a good job, though. If everyone putting on the table. 
It does look pretty good right now with new flooring, yep. windows, and heating throughout. It's been replastered, replumbed, rewired, and the back Wow, the they done a great job, you know. But these men were professionals from early, innit? Uh, Whoa, new, look at new you! New door, yes, set, Tristan! Uh, and then a walkway With your little waistcoat. Up. Swear down, they look like father and son though. Is it me? Or does that not look like the other guy's... Wait, I'm baffled. Because it looks like it's his... His suit. Yeah, it looks like it's his jacket. And he said, ah, oh, big man. Hey, we're doing his horns and the hammer thing, bro. Big you let me borrow your waistcoat. <laughs> Am I not lying? It looked like he said, oh, bro, I beg you let me borrow your waistcoat. That's from the same suit, you know? I swear to you. Either that or these men have got the same suit. I don't know. A contractor that we've been working with uh, who's sort of overseen the work. Uh, he's brought in a couple of other labourers to help him do odd bits and bobs. Um, my role's been coming to site and sort of overseeing the... <laughs> nah, man. Why does Donnie keep looking at him when he talks like that? <laughs> All right, all right, go on. You tell me, you tell everything. Go on, go on. What about the budget? What about so the budget? So the uh, initial costs that we put in place were between twenty-five and thirty thousand. That was for the building work, so that didn't include anything to do with the lease. Mm. Um, it's coming just under twenty thousand, just a few pounds short oh, of decent. that. So from a cost point Jeez. of view, it's gone slightly better. Man, saved a little money in that. Go after hours, little bagel king. <laughs> after the night out. But look at my man Tristan, just like, yeah, but, but man didn't put in, so, so someone sponsor me. <laughs> I beg someone sponsor me. A chicken escalope, please. <laughs> She's walking to what used to be the Banzo. Oh my gosh. Different from the last time we visited, they've made the best job of a really tight space and turned it into a decent one bedroom Trust flat me. that's ready to go. This property would sell for in the what region of 275. Man like Arthur from Batman. Because he thought it was a good spot because... The property in the current market mm. would fetch within the region of about £280,000. Well, that could... What? £280,000 for this one-bed flat in Croydon. Wow, London prices are mad, isn't it? They're just mad. No, I'm happy for these guys because they will put their own money into this property. And everyone's obviously going to make a profit when they sell it. You know what I mean? Croydon's on the up, box park and that. You know what I mean? So, you know, got a little Ikea there as well. Blood clock! Oh, pearly way. Okay, good for them, man. That is the plan, we're gonna keep going, yeah, yeah. Yeah, already started looking and hopefully get them. Nah, 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 they look that man like... <laughs> Big man, you didn't put in this, on this, bro. Next one soon. <laughs> Yo, that is the end of Homes Under the Hammer Time. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and most importantly, leave your comments below. Take care, and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.